Snow Goat Lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little update on this sweet girl. Uh, here's Anna here. She's been her copter mom. She just has been taking care of her all day. She loves loves her to pieces. Okay, Anna. Okay, Anna. <laughs> Thank you. But she is doing amazing. Um, if you guys saw in the last video, she just wasn't doing very good at all. So she's been up, wagon. Um, you know, she's still a little bit weak. Obviously, she was almost dead, but she is doing amazing, and I just, she's coming around. She's been eating really good. Um, I did not end up tube feeding her, just because I thought, well, I'm going to try a syringe first, and she even tries to suckle the syringe, so she's, she's eating actually quite a bit today, so she is just doing really good. Are you hungry again? Hey. This here is like a miracle go. She just did really, really good. She's doing awesome. Check her out. She's about the cutest little dink you've ever seen. And definitely a fighter. So I have high hopes for this girl. She's still doing really, really good. Uh, but just wanted to give you guys that quick update. She's definitely going to stay in the house tonight. Oh, she's off. She's off on adventures. <laughs> Come here. Yeah. <laughs> She's just kind of been exploring. She's doing a lot of sleeping. She's wagging her tail, so she's happy. This goat was literally seconds from death this morning, so she, her face is clean and comfortable. So, so <laughs> Anna loves the baby goats. But, um, yeah, so doing really good. Just wanted to share that with you guys real quick, and she is on the run. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to stay in the house tonight. Um... For sure, so I can keep a close eye, and I'll, I'll be waking up every couple hours just to make sure she's getting some food in her and just staying really strong. Uh, hopefully, uh, tomorrow we'll, we'll get her back outside, but we'll probably be separating some kids. So we'll just have to see how that plays out in the morning. Uh, but other than that, let's go see Lily's babies. All right, guys, check out these two little beauties. Not little, they're actually really beefy, heavy, <laughs> heavy little kids. So... Lily did amazing, of course. Um, this one came out first, and she is bred to Everest. Um, so, Lily did have her babies on her due date, which is always awesome. That's actually not something very common, but she did. So, super cool. Second doe also went on her due date. And this one here is a blue-eyed little girl. She is horned um, because Everest and Lily both had horns, so... She's not pulled, but man, she's got lungs, but look, she's super wide, as you guys can see, all right, sorry, so the fourth kid born was another doe, how awesome is that, that's, that's pretty cool, and then this, this one, he is pretty neat looking, he obviously takes on his daddy's coloring, but uh, Rah, I know. He's got brown eyes and, of course, horned as well. It's a boy. So, four does and one boy. That is like some killer ratio for, for starters, man. I am super excited about it. And he is just the most gorgeous little thing. He is going to make a wonderful, wonderful herd sire. Aren't you? So, he's already been sold to somebody in Montana. He's just gorgeous. And this little girl is, is sold, but she's staying here in Arizona, so. I just, I can't believe how big these kids are. They're like super, super massive. But they look really, really good. So the little boy did give Lily a little bit of trouble. He had his one leg crooked back. Um, so I did have to kind of pull while she was pushing a little bit, but that wasn't really a big deal. It wasn't like a complicated labor by any means. She did, did it like a rock star. She's amazing. She always is. Um, and to see the size of her udder, oh my gosh, before she even kitted, it was giant this year, guys. So that's also really, really exciting. Now, Lily is one of my wider does that I get really excited about. I love width. Um, width is a good thing just because obviously they can pass kids easily. Um, they have a lot of space between their legs to hold that udder. Um, so width in a dairy goat is, is really, really important. And she's just, she's always been a really, really good mama. But the babies are like, mom. She's kind of a copter mom with them. There's not a lot of copter moms around here, huh? 
I gotta check her udder. How's your udder doing? Feels like that one side might be a little more drained. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Um, but now guys, we have, we have two goats, two does in milk. Yeah, they are draining the one side a little more. Just yet, I don't want to take that milk out. Here in the next hour or two, they might take a drink from the other side and be just fine. She's just so sweet. Hi. Sorry, I got squirrel on a kid. What are you doing? You're just the sweetest. Let me get that long hair. Thank you. Is she precious? Oh, I don't have a blue-eyed doe, a black blue-eyed doe. And I think that is just the prettiest thing. Blue eyes on a black doe. They just stand out so much. But we aren't retaining any of Lily's kids this year. Um, we do have a Lily Everest um, pairing, which is obviously Lodi. And Lodi, if you guys look on the website, it shows her picture where she's shaved and just, you know, standing there properly. She is just also really, really wide. She's got a long neck, long body, super deep body. Um, so just a gorgeous doe. It's a very good combination, Lily and Everest. So these kids are gonna show the same way. You're gonna look that beautiful too, huh? Is she the sweetest? Look at her. Just wagging her tail. Lily, I'm visiting her. Lily's over there yakking at me. I can visit, huh? So, I don't know, super, super cool. Second, um, second kidding went really well. Just keep hoping it continues that way. So, um, two of 20 does, and now we have 18 more to go. So far, so good, guys. I just love you. I love you. Her owner is gonna be very, very happy with her. Aren't you? They're gonna love you. So Lily always likes to give labor. Um, last year she did the same thing. Not her first kidding, which is normal. It sometimes can take a little bit longer. But last year, um, it, it was the, kind of the same scenario. I came out, I checked her, she had no ligament. She was just a little talkative. Uh, I was like, okay, I got some time to go in the house and get ready. I was like, dude, just sit with her. She wasn't even having hard contractions. No slime, nothing. And uh, she did it again this year. So I was in the house trying to you know, just get that baby to a good place and, and up and healthier and came back out and checked her while Derek sat with her and I'm like, oh yeah, we got some time. She doesn't really look like she's having hard contractions at all. And she wasn't. I watched her for a few minutes. Um, she had a slight contraction and that's it. So I was out here maybe 30 minutes later and, and she, uh, I was like, okay, still no slime. And then she just starts pushing all of a sudden. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need somebody, somebody come here. And um, they came running, I'd say about, Maybe 10, 15 minutes later, this baby was on the ground. She spent quite a while cleaning her up. She's still cleaning her. <laughs> She's clean, mama. You did good. So she spent quite a while cleaning her, maybe, maybe another 10 minutes or so before she actually had the buck. And again, the little buckling I did have to pull because he had the one leg back, just his nose and his little, and his one hoof were, were sticking out. So that kind of assistance I can handle. It's super, super easy to help in that, in that kind of a way. So she just did awesome. And these babies are adorable. Aren't you? Yeah. You're just so cute. So that's the update on Lily's babies. So we do have one, two, three, four other does in stalls here. Elsa next to me, her due date was yesterday. She's, um, I just want my Swiss doe, man. I was hoping I came out this morning and she she gave she was gonna be in labor, but not the case. So she's gonna hold out on me apparently for a little bit longer. But let's go check these other does ligaments um, and just just see how they're coming along. You never know when you're gonna have a night labor. They didn't have them about four hours ago, but you know when they're this close with their due dates, they're past their due date. I checked multiple times throughout the day. You never know when it's gonna happen. So let's go check them. I'm like thinking Tansy definitely knows she's close to labor. Check her out, you guys. This is a wild animal who is totally chill with me right now. Can I check you, girl? 
You got like a runny eye, huh? It's been so windy the dust gets in their eyes. Let me check you. Check her out, look, I'm not even gonna hold her collar. They're squishy. I think this is one of the does that might be able to bond with me. What do you think? You all right, Mama? Yeah? Good girl. So they're squishy, but she still has her ligaments. Now I'm gonna feel her udder, because she's probably gonna run from me at that point. You are a good girl. Okay, she's gonna lay down on my hand. Okay, good girl, thank you. Okay, she's not like. All right, now here's Elsa. She is running from me. She is sick and tired of me feeling for her ligaments. She's being kind of ornery with it, but I'm gonna go in here and fetch her. Come here, girl. Ooh. All right, all right, it's okay, you're okay, Michelle, thank you. She is super, super squishy too. They're still there though. You know, she's only one day past her due date and it's not common for them to go on their due date. It's usually a couple days after or something, but so I'll just keep an eye on her. I'm not showing that she's totally bagging up. Like in a lot of cases, I'll see them bag up the night before their udder gets a little fuller and then it's like, ooh, that's a big difference. Um, but they still have ligaments. And then the next morning, um, in most cases, they actually, they are way bagged up and there's no ligaments. So she doesn't have that bagging up thing going on. So really she might not even go tomorrow. Cassie here loves me. She does not mind if I touch her udder or anything. She's just the sweetest, sweetest girl. Can you come here? Let me check you. Please, thank you. See, she's like, here, mom. Ooh. Ah, they're there. Barely. There's been so many due dates. I want to say Cassie's due date is tomorrow. I'm pretty positive her due date is tomorrow and it was not today. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Um, ooh, but her udder is really warm. You want to show them your udder? Let's see. It's beautiful. You don't have to be ashamed. Let's see. All right, so warmth is another thing. This udder is fuller than yesterday or this morning for that matter. So this is what I was talking about with Elsa. I don't see this happening in her udder, but Cassie's udder for sure has gotten quite a bit more milk in it just since this morning. And she's squishy ishy. I bet you Camille will be in the morning. Like on her due date. I'm betting. You guys just wait and see. I love you. Here's Miss Maybelline. She's been getting grouchy and she's just super, super sweet usually. So she's, she's being hormonal, which is understandable. Her due date was today. And she's still, her ligaments are here. They're not even really too, too squishy. They're pretty prominent. They're not hard to find. Let me see your bag. And her bag isn't really doing much. That was a cute little dance. I just want to feel, is this better? Going under? Not really. Not, not too much um, difference really, if any at all, from, from this morning. So we just have to wait and see on her. She might be another day, another two, another three, who knows. So again, today was her due date. No babies out of her. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. And in this pen, these sweet, sweet little girls are doing really awesome still. This is my little girl right here. But they're doing awesome. Um, Dreamer hasn't even noticed that another kid is gone. She hasn't really done anything. Right now she's talking, she's, well, I'm holding her kid. They're screaming. And uh, she knows it's feeding time, so. But these guys are doing awesome. They're so, so cute. Let's see if they'll jump around. Because they're more lively. They're a couple days old, so they, they do kickflips and stuff already. It's super cute. Oh, now I'm not a bad guy? Yes, look, look. <laughs> They are some nice looking kids. I'm sorry, girl. And Dreamer has just skinnied right up. So she's healing good like she didn't just have three kids. She's a rock star. 
and the babies are good. So there's the update on them. So we better go feed the rest of these animals, guys, because they are yelling at us and they want food. And uh, it's been a crazy day, but a good day. Everything turned out okay today. So uh, see you again tomorrow.